stuff, so I, yeah. don't, I probably won't do it. I'm going to swim at the whales for two weeks in October. Oh, so when okay. I come back, I'll be infused, and I'll, I'll do a, a whale wow. sound bath. But where? Upstairs, in the community center. We have a community center. I get October, it. October what? All when I come back from October. Okay. I'm going. When I'm gone, I always try and visualize the whales and the dolphins swimming around the store. So next two weeks, I'll be doing that. Yeah. So I'm in the Beautiful. Like Beautiful. Yeah. The whales. The whales. Because they bring the energy of the whales back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sun for sake me and the moon for me. Conscious journalism for the good of humankind and I'm here with Miss Catherine she's a tonal sound healer connected to the whales and the dolphins and she's also the owner of soul connection here near Mount Shasta she was just playing this beautiful gong for us which you can tell us a little bit more about from uh, this is a gong from Italy from Grotto Sano directly from India I mean from India Italy and they're producing a cave Even when I'm in the redwoods, you have the same ancient feeling as being with the, the whales in the redwoods because they're ancient. They just hold the record keepers and they hold the balance for the planet. They hold the balance of the planet. For the I planet. Yes. For the planet. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about that. How do they hold that balance for the planet? They're just so anchored. They're just so massive and anchored and they have so much uh, a groundedness and just. But definitely, if you can't get to the whales, go to the redwoods. <laughs> it's the same energy to me. It really is. So what does this gong do for us when we hear it? I mean, I can feel the energy in my body, but you have the wisdom. Of, <laughs> you're the wisdom keeper of these you know, gongs. So no, it? just, you know, sound is profound. I mean, you think yeah. about our bones all the way to our thoughts. It's all vibrations. And so sound affects us greatly. And there's no wrong way to have a sound come out if you're going to tone something because it is what it is. And it's a good divination tool with your when you do an own tone. some resonance and it starts quacking you can just sound it out and work it out so it sounds real profound and it's like we had always have it with us you have it with us all the time it's our voice and like I said again there's no wrong way to do it if you can close your eyes and to the element in your body you can close your eyes and if you feel a swell in your throat open your mouth let it come out and it's going to transform as it, as it changes and transmutes the energy and transforms it but it's always with you <laughs> Your voice. So don't be intimidated. It's just, you know, the chill babies, trimal, they just, you know, let it all out. And it will transform. And remember, there's no wrong way to do it. I love that. Miss Catherine, I had the privilege of swimming with the whales uh, back in Colombia in New Key mm -hmm. about two years ago. And I heard them un underwater. Yes. And it sounds very similar to this. I mean, I'm impressed how how the resonance just feels yes. in my body as well. It's like they're right here with us. Good. Because they are, they are. Um, and I want to also ask you, shifting a little bit from the whales and from sound, you're always dressed in purple here in your store in front of Mount Shasta uh, in California, and you are very connected to the Violet Plain and Saint Germain. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about what this Ascended Master means to you in your life? Yes. Well, Saint Germain's very prominent here. And back in the 40s, he appeared to guide Ballard the Mountain, 
and um, people also will come down and take show share pictures and all of a sudden there's violet there's a violet flame the violet flame is the seventh ray of the transportation you can invoke the violet flame cause effect correct memory back to your first body and matter and visualize any situation close your eyes and visualize the violet flame that's the gift of the Aquarian master Jesus was master of the Piscean age then came Jesus uh, Saint Germain master of the Aquarian age but that's the gift he gave us of the violet flame I love it feels like a crackling thing and just visualize visualization is really important you can evoke the violet flame but visualization of it enhances it enhances it so yeah. similar to the voice as well you know when you're feeling that hurt you feel a go. swell and you know you got to open your mouth and like i said there's no wrong way to do it and it's always with us is there anything that you want to share with us um how long have you been living here in mount shasta we've like had any? this store for um, that's about 21 years now 21 our 21st years. year has really transformed it's what's so magical about mount shasta is well first, first of all just go up the mountain you can't explain it you have to experience it so you go up in the mountain and it's different for everybody and, and it's, it's transformative. But the people that come, it, it attracts here is just amazing. Synchronicities happen real quick here. You know, they just do. <laughs> and it's just it's a magical place. It's a magical place. I feel like it's like a little bubble, you know, and I'm protected from the rays, like at least 200 miles, I think, from Mount, Mount Chasta and it goes out. Yeah, and it's very magical. I love what you say about synchronicities because mm -hmm. you know that you're living your best life or on the highest timeline or on your highest purpose when you're feeling those synchronicities when humans just show up magically yeah. at, the, at the same place at the right time you know or you align with your purpose or your mission etc what is one story in particular that you feel has really touched you deeply by being here at Mount Shasta? I'm sure you have well, many. Well, I see a lot. I mean, because I see a lot of people making their connections here with other people. There's been a couple that, two of, two two sets of couples that got met and got married. I mean, it's just, and the, to me, it's, I mean, to me, like the store now that we got, like seven, we had 77, over 7,000 square feet. It's just like, there's different portals in each one. And you do, you, I think people do kind of, get lost in the portals here and it's magical and it's and what's exciting about you and having this here is the people it makes it all worthwhile and the people you meet and it's just it's magical it's just magical and it's so exciting to hear people come down and share their stories and, and especially having a lot of violets in their pictures and this and that and seeing things it's 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 wonderful to be here and yeah. every year is different with the people that it brings that's what's magical too it's never the same never yeah I mean, we just even had a moment. We were coming back from, from one of the rivers close to McLeod, and I was talking to Dumar and Sulai, who I'm here with on the retreat, and Dumar is actually behind the, the scenes helping us record this. And I just started tearing up looking at the mountain because I said, I am so afraid of going back to my old life. Like, the new person that touched this mountain and climbed up <laughs> Mount Shasta is a completely different version of me and I I can't imagine myself going back to that old life Well, you anymore. know, there's no time and space. So you have yeah. a point of reference now when you've been here, you can come any home, anytime. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what it feels like, a coming home to yes. the mountain. Yes. And coming home to ourselves. You have that essence you can carry out. You know, exactly. Into the world and also go back, come back in. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Catherine. Is there anything else you want to add that I haven't asked you? No, just come and experience it. It's a blessing. I mean, it's and you can't put it into words. It's you can't. You just got to yeah. get up on the mountain and yeah, the magic and yeah. feel it. Yes. Thank you so much for being here with us. And if you make it to Mount Shasta in California, know that Soul Connection is here. You can come visit Miss Catherine uh, and her store, and her husband also works here as well. It's a beautiful place to be to come find crystals and hear the healing sounds of the whales and the dolphins as well. Crystals, clouds, everything. <laughs> and your books. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Who and exactly what the The sun for Sigma and the moon for Kate. <laughs> 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 <laughs>